Not an easy delivery. Romans chapter 8, verse 22. We know that the whole creation groans and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. How does the earth groan and suffer? Sometimes women refer to a child's birth as an easy or difficult delivery. Such terms regarding the relative pains of childbirth are similar to the imagery Paul uses in his letter to the Romans. When God created the world, it was good and without sin. Genesis 1.31 However, with the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, sin entered the world and affected every part of creation. Genesis 3 verses 14 to 19 and Romans 5.12 Humans were afflicted with a sin nature and the ramifications of it, and all of the world was subject to decay and destruction. This explains natural disasters, as well as sickness and death among animals, as well as humans. In Romans 8 verses 19 to 21, Paul discusses the interrelationship of people with the physical world. In these verses, he tells his readers that God's plan for the ages includes a future restoration of creation that is related to the salvation of God's people. God previously judged the entire creation along with its inhabitants because of the sin of Adam and Eve. However, the curse will one day be reversed. When God's program for salvation is finished, the creation itself will be freed from decay. Romans 8, 21 This will begin with a recreation and reordering at the second coming of Jesus Christ. Continue into the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ on the earth. Isaiah 11, verses 5 to 9 And Isaiah 35, verses 1 to 2 and 5 to 7 and end with the creation of a new heaven and a new earth in the eternal state. Revelation 21, 1, and Revelation 22, 3. The millennial kingdom will bring about the harmony of all creation, and all that was lost in the Garden of Eden will be restored. It will be a time of peace and prosperity, health and happiness, and great spiritual awareness. It will be all that people have longed for when through the centuries they prayed, Thy kingdom come. Romans 8.22 provides the summation of Paul's teaching about the present creation. Just as pain and suffering are parts of childbirth, so too the world is in extended suffering and pain because of sin and is awaiting delivery from it in the future. The emphasis of this passage is not purely ecological. Rather, Paul is teaching this truth about creation as an illustration and a reminder that the present suffering of Christians, like those of creation, are temporary. See Romans 8, 18, 23, and 28. God has a plan for the world but more importantly, God has a plan for the people of the world. For Christians, those who love him, God uses everything that happens to them in that plan. This is a great comfort. In a world filled with chaos, despair, corruption, violence, and rampant evil, the certainty of the millennium and the restoration of creation provide assurance that God has not abandoned his prophetic plan. We need not have anxiety or fear from the headlines. God is in control. Nothing that happens to you is beyond God's knowledge or concern. God knows your trials and tribulations and understands your fears and tears. And even more significant, Nothing in this world can separate you from God's love. See Romans 8, verses 37 to 39.